Sorry. So like half my video got corrupt, so um, I'm just gonna restart. This one was in 90% um, infill. Wasted it because it doesn't fit. So I printed it again. This one's in 10% and it's too small. So I took the average of the two and I made this one. This one does fit. Also 10%. I'm printing the 90% right now. Um, but the TPU sock is too large for it. So I'm going to have to print that again. But I also have to make sure that my foot can still fit in it. So I just had to shrink it down. But not actually like make your foot part any smaller. So it kind of came out as a stringy mess. You can just kind of burn the strings away. Any normal lighter will work. You have to be careful though because the flame will stain the um, filament, but we're going to be painting that anyways. Also, I just kind of woke up, so sorry for the whack voice. So, uh, only half of it printed. <clears throat> so basically, only half of it printed. So I took a little ruler. All rulers are the same, aren't they? Basically measured out, it's about 16 and a quarter centimeters. So then, measure 16 and a quarter, cut it off, and then print the rest. So that I'm not actually going to waste all this filament, because it is the 90% infill version. I already have, I'd say three quarters of it printed. Three days later, I finished uh, printing it. The first time it failed miserably and just turned into a stringy mess. This time it actually worked. So I'm just gonna take the brim off. And remember you can sand this part later so it doesn't have to be too perfect. You just don't wanna carve into the actual thing. Um, This part is all janky, so I'm going to have to do some modifications first off. A Dremel, the Dremel Snake, is probably one of, if not the best investments you can make if you're going to doing a lot of craft stuff. Starting off on a very slow speed. And then, and some duct tape. Get off my foot. Soldering iron. I'm plugging it in so that it can start heating up. There we go. Oh. Then, while that's heating up, I'm gonna take the super glue. Usually you wanna do most of it on the inside because that's where people won't see. This part won't be like supporting me too much so I don't need like ton. It doesn't need to be too, too secure. Plus the metal band is going to be clamping it down together. I'm using the thick port part, this part of it, because that can smooth out a lot larger area by just like kind of rolling it over. And then I use the smaller part for the more fine areas. I was gonna say, and I'm gonna be sanding it, but I've already said that like four times today. Y'all get the point. You're not stupid. Or at least, probably not stupid. I'm stupid, so I need to say it four times. But y'all don't need to hear it four times. And I'm gonna add some more stuff down here just to really make sure it won't fall apart on me. Because, you know, this is going to be supporting me. Um, and if it breaks, it'll most likely be while I'm taking a step. Because when I'm standing still, there's going to be two things supporting my weight. But when I'm just walking, it'll just be one of them supporting my weight at a time. I take a strip of it, put it that, and then this part just kind of fits nicely. Press it down. I take another strip because that one isn't good enough. And, and then we mush it all together. Just, yeah. 
yeah I really kind of don't want my shoe to fall apart while I'm wearing it because that would suck and then take the duct tape off and then smooth it uh. all right look at that perfect and this part I'm not gonna put on um because I wouldn't be able to get my foot in it Alright, so I know y'all are super far away, but that's just because I just woke up and I look like a zombie. But, brace part two is finished. Um, sort of, the main construction phase is finished. So I think I'm going to put this video all together and upload it eventually. I still have to sand it, and then I might line it with some foam just to make it more comfortable. I don't know, we'll see.